You know, somehow I ended up with an entire cabinet full of tape. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, it just happened a little bit at a time, I guess. And that's what we're going to talk about in this class is tape and what do you do with it? And how, how in the world do you use five zillion rolls of tape that are in one cabinet? If you think that this is all that tape is, Boy, are you sad, sadly mistaken, <laughs> because tape is so much more than this. I'm going to show you a few kinds of tape. <clears throat> this is just plain old scotch tape or, you know, translucent, transparent tape. This has the matte finish. This happens to be magic tape. And there's all kinds of other tapes that come from various companies. These are some of the tapes that I found in the dollar bin at one of the local craft stores. There were all different kinds of it. So of course you have to have, I don't know why, but you have to have it, right? You have to have it. And then <clears throat> there are pretty tapes that you can get and they are also have this kind of transparent, this one has a transparent, shiny look to it. Several different kinds. And let's not, let's not forget about tapes that you can get at the automotive store. <coughs> these are pinstripe tapes that go on cars. And these are pretty cool. All of these tapes that I'm showing you right here, including the first one, the transparent scotch tape or the magic tape, these are all tapes that have adhesive on one side, all of these. And so I keep those all together in one little container and even things like this, these metallic, pretty metallic tapes. These are actually from the paper and scrapbooking department in the local craft and art store. But I keep all those together because those are the single-sided. They only adhesive, have adhesive on one side of the tape. And they're all relatively narrow. So they're great. These tapes are great for things like paper um, using on cards or scrapbooking or art journaling. They're all really good for that. Excellent. Tape number one. All right, let's talk about... Talk about some tapes that are called washi style tape or washi tape. Some of them are actually called washi tape. So let me show you a few of these. These tapes that I'm showing you right here, this collection of tapes, and I'll turn them up on end so you can actually see the patterns involved. Pretty much most of these are from the uh, scrapbook section the scrapbooking section in your craft store. Some of these are actually in the glue section and they'll come in collections. Like I think these two came together. Maybe these three came together in a collection from the scrapbook store. Look at that. Look at that bundle of that group of luscious tapes. These are also single sided adhesive on one side, but what makes them interesting and kind of unique is that they are thin and semi-transparent. And I've got one here that I, I just split. There we go. Now the black ones you can't see through as much on here, but if I put this down over something that's brightly colored, let's see if I can you're not going to be able to see it. But if you put this down, I thought maybe if I put it down over a brightly colored tape that you'd be able to see it, but you really can't. If it goes down on top of a bright, co brightly colored paint in your art journal or something like that, then it, sometimes it shows through from shadows through those white dots. So I'm looking for the end on this. They're not hard to find except when you're recording. <laughs> then they're always hard to find. So there's another one. Here's another one. They're easy to unroll. They're easy to find the end unless you're looking for it. And 
they just have some really cool effects in your art journal or on cards or on paper crafts, anything like that. And they just add a lot of interest. And you can see that if I cross them like that, if I, um, you know, layer them up, you can get some interesting effects because of what shows from underneath. 